Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Everything OneNote. Today I'm going to be talking emojis and how you can best use emojis in your worksheets to track students' work and monitor their learning and complete and incomplete work across a unit. So straight into my OneNote, this is an example of a Year 10 business unit, and I'm going to show you um, how you can integrate emojis into your worksheets. You can see every one of my worksheets here, it has a yellow warning exclamation mark at the front of it. All of my pages start off with that emoji, so they get distributed with that emoji. And the reason for that is I go with um, either a exclamation mark means incomplete. Once they complete the worksheet, they get a green tick. And that tells me that that work has now been finished and it's checked off. Now, the reason I use um, exclamation marks and distribute it at the start of the worksheet is that when I go through and I'm reviewing this student's work and it hasn't been complete, I don't have to do anything, okay? I just leave it how it is. If I started off with nothing, every worksheet that is complete or incomplete, I have to do something, okay? So I would then have to go in and say, oh, that's not complete and put the exclamation mark in. And that's just extra time and energy that I don't need to do. So it's about being efficient. Every kid starts off with that emoji and as they complete it, they progress into the tick. And you can see over here on the left, I can start to get an idea of the work that is being completed and not completed. Another quick tip is if you're doing multiple, going through all the worksheets at once, you might wanna copy and paste that tick so you can very quickly go in and just replace it like that without having to bring up your emojis every time. Now, you can see I can start to get an idea of the work that is being completed and not completed over here. So I can now see at the end of this unit, this student now has two worksheets that are incomplete and that allows me to then follow up with that student and maybe find out why that work wasn't complete. It could be because they're away, it could be some other reasons, but that work needs to go back and complete it. I know exactly what needs to be completed from each student. Now, I do keep things simple with tick and exclamation marks. Generally, I'm gonna show you another one I use in a minute, but the reason for that is when you change um, this exclamation mark to a tick, it becomes a new page because it's named differently. So when you're using the class notebook and review student work feature, I'm not gonna do it because this is just a standardized OneNote, but it separates those worksheets now. So all of the kids that have a tick next to them fall into a different category because they're now in a worksheet with a tick on it. And all the kids left with exclamation marks fall into another category as well. So when I'm reviewing student work, if I keep clicking on this exclamation mark worksheet, as I'm ticking off the work, that list will get smaller and smaller. So I'm only reviewing five, four, three, two, one students until everybody's done it. Now, obviously, ideally, at the end of the unit, the students will have, you know, all ticks next to every worksheet. That's in an ideal world. It doesn't, I don't think it's ever happened for an entire class yet. But this is sort of what the kids are working towards. The other reason I use those exclamation mark emojis is it kind of resembles the warning or sync error sign in OneNote. And I find the kids just don't like it in general. So they will actually, a bit of a psychological thing, they will actually do work just to get rid of that exclamation mark. And they'll say, sir, 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 I finished my work. Can you change it to a tick? So they actually get excited and heckle me to actually go in and mark their work. So that's always a good thing if the kids are caring about their work and want you to check it off. Um, there's also a bit of a, I guess the kids seeing those ticks pop up, they're progressing through the unit, progress equals happiness. And it's a bit of a sense of achievement for them as they're completing throughout the unit and getting it ticked off, ticked off, ticked off. Okay, so like I said, for them, I think it feels good seeing that work getting ticked off as well throughout the unit. But another one I like to incorporate is throwing some trophies in. This one I started doing a bit recently is for pick two or three kids that have really done a great job or gone above and beyond that worksheet. And instead of a tick, they get a little trophy emoji. Now you could use a medal, you could use any other variation of that. I've gone with the trophy. And at the end of the unit, I'll have a look and as I can quickly see and count how many trophies each kid get. Obviously this kid, you can see student, I should say has absolutely dominated. He goes above and beyond in every single worksheet I give him. But um, him plus another couple other students will get a little prize or a present or something at the end of the unit or the term, just to a bit of a thank you and feedback for going above and beyond in those worksheets and getting the most trophies, you know, throughout the unit or the term. 
So that's another option you can do is just a bit of extra thing for the kids to work towards. So not only doing the worksheet to get it ticked off, but they're doing the worksheet, they're also working towards getting a trophy. For some kids, that intrinsic motivation, that continuing to working towards something or getting that reward of that trophy, even though it doesn't really mean much, can be enough to get a bit more out of your students. I'm gonna show you another example is looking at emojis 54321. So this is a year 10 tourism class and they do a series of tasks. And I open up a 54321 emoji, like an A to E scale. And the reason for that is, you could do an assignment and yes, you could um, give it a grade out of five and it could populate the grade book, which is what I do anyway. And, and, and if you're linked with Teams, it's probably the best way to do it. But if you're just using OneNote or you wanna do a bit of feedback in OneNote as well, integrate in emojis at the start using numbers. So I can now see without having to go into every single page, I can now quick get a snapshot of how this kid or student's going across a unit. We've got three, four, five, four, four, at the moment, they're averaging a four, which is sitting on a B. So I can now put a quick snapshot of that without having to go into every page and look at maybe if I gave some specific feedback in that page. I could have written feedback here on the page and said, hey, great job, you got a B overall. By doing that, I have to go into every page, see what I wrote, what grade I gave them, and then even across the five or six things I click on, try and remember what grade I gave for each one and then give them an average grade for that. So that's just extra work back and forth checking. Putting these emojis to start really makes things easy and giving a quick snapshot of where they're going and how they're going and even trying to monitor um, how the student's going across. If they're obviously sitting on two, 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 you might, you know, maybe they need a bit more support. They're not quite getting the concept as much. The other cool thing, even using that review student work again, as I said, it's going to create multiple pages and multiple options, but it will separate the work. So if you want to go and review all of your twos or all of your threes, Simply go on a review student work, choose the worksheets that have a three in front of it, and then you can get a snapshot of all your C's or your B's or your A's or your D's or even hopefully all of your E's, hope you don't have any of those. But another quick way of, of using that review student work to separate the kids' work and identify who's in what category. All right, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Um, and that's how I'm integrating emojis into my worksheets. Ciao.